bandpass filters. We present three types of active filters. High pass filter, mid range pass filter and low pass filter. A very effective way to improve sound fidelity at high potency is dividing the frequencies for each speaker. Let's consider that the frequencies have different polarizations according to its amplitude. So, when the speaker pushes out to play a low frequency while there might be a medium or high frequency forcing the speaker to go inward, making foul movements which do not allow either emits perfectly frequencies. For this reason, it is necessary to divide the frequency before being amplified using an amplifier for each group of frequencies. It is in this moment that is required a band pass filter. A band pass filter is an electronic circuit that allows the passage of a certain frequency range of a signal and weakens the other frequencies. Next, we will describe each of them. High pass filter. The high pass filter is an electronic circuit that receives as a simple the full frequency range and delivers only the high frequencies. In the process are weakened the low and mid frequencies letting pass the high frequencies. Before seeing the spectre of high pass filter, watch the flash response of the amplifier without any filter. This can be seen on a spectrum analyzer playing white noise generated with SoundForge software. When the amplifier output signal is flat, we can see a horizontal line. Now, placing the high pass filter, high frequencies are enhanced and the mid range and lower frequencies are weakened. So, what we captured was an enhancement of the high frequencies. It is noted that the highest frequency range is from 2 kHz to nearly 14 kHz and its highest point is at 8 kHz. How it works The high pass filter has two operational amplifiers used in two stages. The first operational amplifier receives the signal through a 0.01 microfarads capacitor which restricts the passage of low and medium frequencies. The first operational amplifier pre-amplifies the signal to be received by the second operational amplifier. The second stage enhances the high frequencies and lowers the mid-range and low frequencies again to achieve a signal high frequency only. Mid-range pass filter the mid-range pass filter is an electronic circuit that receives at its input the full frequency range and delivers only the mid-range. In the process, they are weakening the low and high frequencies, letting only the mid-range frequencies. This filter gives its run higher mid-range level at points between 500 Hz to 4 kHz, being the highest point between 1 kHz and 2 kHz. How it works? The circuit has a 4558IC, which is a dual operational amplifier. Before entering the signal to the first operational amplifier, low frequencies are restricted through a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Then, the operational amplifier amplifies the signals and is received through another 0.1 microfarad capacitor, which restricts again the passage of low frequencies. The second stage makes an enhancement of mid-range and restricts high frequency thanks to the capacitor 470 picofarads and 200 picofarads. Low pass filter. The low pass filter is an electronic circuit that receives at its input the full frequency range and then delivers to its output only low frequencies. The circuit is designed to lower the highs and mids, letting low frequency pass, casting an enhancement of this. View of the low pass filter in the spectrum analyzer. Watch that the low frequency enhancements begins at 30 Hz and ends at 500 Hz, with a peak at 120 Hz. As are very low frequencies, it is important to use good power amplifier, over 200 watts RMS. How it works The low pass filter works with a TL082IC. This integrated circuit has two operational amplifiers within. The first operational amplifier is responsible for restricting the low frequencies to the 0.047 microfarads capacitor, which is in parallel with the feedback resistor of 100K. Then, in the second stage, low frequencies are enhanced, the high and mid frequencies are restricted again, using the 330 picofarads capacitor. When it comes out, the signal of the second operational amplifier, the 0.1 microfarad capacitor, sends to ground the few high and medium frequencies that can remain. 
Now, let's hear the sound live test. ¿Qué tal amigos? Presentamos la prueba de sonido de nuestros filtros pasabanda. Comenzaremos por el filtro pasa altos de segundo orden. Aquí lo pueden apreciar. Tiene su fuente incluida, así evitamos tener que hacer una fuente por aparte, solo es conectar el transformador directamente. Tiene dos etapas, una que se encarga de atenuar las frecuencias bajas y medias y otra de realzar las frecuencias altas. Por eso tenemos un potenciómetro aquí para poder realzar la cantidad de frecuencias altas que deseemos y su potenciómetro de volumen general. Bien, vamos a escucharlo entonces. Bueno, esperamos que este filtro pasa altos sea del agrado y de utilidad de todos. Ahora escucharemos la prueba de sonido de nuestro filtro pasa medios. Ahora haremos la prueba de sonido del filtro pasa medios. Este filtro pasa medios tiene las mismas condiciones que el filtro pasa altos, también es de segundo orden. Así que también atenúa las frecuencias que no necesita y realza las otras. También tiene sus dos potenciómetros y su fuente incluida en la tarjeta. Vamos a escucharlo. Esperamos que este circuito también sea de gran utilidad para todos. Ahora seguiremos con la prueba de sonido del filtro pasabajos. Presentamos la prueba de sonido de un filtro pasabajos de segundo orden. Si ustedes recuerdan, en la página ya tenemos un filtro pasabajos de primer orden, el cual tiene una etapa que se encarga de atenuar las frecuencias altas para que solamente pasen las frecuencias bajas. En este caso, este filtro pasabajos tiene dos etapas. Una que se encarga de atenuar las frecuencias altas y solamente nos deja pasar las frecuencias bajas y la otra que se encarga del realce de las frecuencias bajas. Por eso tenemos aquí un potenciómetro para hacer realce de frecuencias y otro para nivel de volumen. Además, tiene su fuente incluida que nos facilita la conexión. Solamente necesitamos un devanado adicional de 12012 en el transformador para alimentar este circuito. Bien, en este caso vamos a utilizar un micrófono, ahí lo pueden ver, con el fin de buscar la mejor captación de las frecuencias bajas, aunque es muy difícil hacerlo con un micrófono y con una cámara. Sin embargo, ahí lo vamos a escuchar y ustedes nos contarán cómo les parece. Bien, escuchemos.
Bueno, espero que alcancen a apreciar las frecuencias bajas que entrega este aparato. Lo encontrarán en su página construyasuvideorocola.com. Saludos a todos. Watch our suggested videos. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to the toll button and check the box Send Me Updates. Join us on Facebook. And follow us on Twitter. Visit our website construyasuvideorocola.com